Pip being the new blood of Na'Vi creates for a great player to watch as there will be lots of new ideas coming from this young star that we can learn from. As always guys, I'll be using the full config of Bit today, so that is 4x3 with his crosshair as well. This is the scoreboard of the game that we are just about to watch. He ended 17 kills and 11 headshots, so that is 65% headshot percentage, which is very high. You'll notice quite a lot with majority of these ramp players, they will have a very high headshot percentage because of the angles they take. So going into the first round here guys, you'll notice how a lot of the time Bit will throw most of his utility very early on in the round. This is to make sure he stops any potential rushes or things like that that could happen. After throwing this early utility, Bit will then move across to check anyone who has pushed close through the smoke. However, he doesn't see anyone there. Even though this is an eco round, I want you to notice how Bit is isolating each of the players to make sure they can't take multiple duels on him at the same time by creating very uh, narrow angles so they have to flow through it and peek him. So Bit will once again start off the round with this early Molotov to stop any potential rushes, then moving close throwing a HE behind it, hopefully catching anyone who is close to the Molotov, followed up by a smoke to make sure no one is going to push it afterwards if they're waiting for the Molotov to extinguish. One thing I want to touch on with this angle, even though Bit doesn't get any contact of anyone in this situation, I've seen Steko in one of his videos talk about this angle as well, and it's incredibly strong, and the reason you hold with a slight gap on the left is so that if anyone comes around the corner crouching, you can still see them and you can flick down to headshot them, and also if they come around standing up, they will be just above the box and you can headshot them as well, so they can't sneak past you by crouching, and also it's very very difficult for the enemy to catch you like this, as it is an incredible hard shot to hit for the t-side so as you'll notice after some time bit starts to reposition but watch how aware he is that someone could have snuck around on catch a timing on him he keeps checking close to the box to make sure no one is sneaking past and pushing him so when you're readjusting your angles make sure you do this as well and keep aware that anyone could come at any second so starting off the round with that early Molotov again to stop any rushes, however in this situation Jax just pushes straight through as he has got a hero AK and he's trying to make some impact, however Bit is fully ready for this, catches him off, so make sure after throwing that initial Molotov you aren't just go running somewhere not looking at the ramp, so you need to make sure you are ready and aware that someone could potentially push through that Molotov. So I also want to talk about the different angles that are on ramp. Um, as I talked about earlier, Bit having a 65% headshot, it would probably be even higher if he found more players, honestly. These angles that these ramp players are taking are angles that are like headshot angles, and they're very small margins. So you'll notice a lot of time they'll try to get one or two kills, and then just fall back and just run down to B. Even though those headshot angles are very, very powerful tools you can use, also very powerful tools are off angles because it is very unexpected. Watch Pit here, he's basically just standing in the open of a uh, ramp and anyone could catch him off. However, no one is going to really clear this angle unless they've been watching Pit's demos specifically. Notice how he's also moving around a lot in this position. I think this is to keep himself awake and aware that if someone comes around, he's just ready for it. So he's not staying still, so he can't basically fall asleep where where he is. So bit this round, instead of throwing that early Molotov, we'll instead throw a smoke, checking close to it again. Also guys, remember, I'm going to remind you again, like I did in the Elige video, that you need to keep changing your angles. This is very, very important. Even if you're not getting contact with anyone or seeing anyone, you need to make sure you keep mixing things up a lot so that the enemy can never fully, fully read you, you know? As a ramp player, it's very important that you know when to rotate and where to rotate exactly. So as soon as they get contact on A, he is moving towards that heaven position while also still watching ramp, fully aware that he could get pushed on that timing. Um, but he's very fast to respond and get up to that A site as fast as he can. So of this clip, you saw this in the introduction, but he's going to get the information that three players are wrapping from outside, moving under this heaven position. The reason that the position Bit is in currently is the strongest position, is that you can see anyone coming up that catwalk because you can see their shadow, and you can also watch the doorway to make sure no one wraps around that way as well, giving him the free two easy kills. Unfortunately, he doesn't get jacks up the top, but Boomish cleans it up. So sitting in this very strong headshot position again that I've already covered, um, Bit is going to throw the smoke straight away after his Molotov to make sure no one can push straight away. Um, then he's going to move across to see if anyone's close to the smoke, then also move back again, going towards that headshot position. You'll notice here a lot, Bit is going to choose so many different positions. So in this one round, there's probably like three or four different positions he's holding in the space of like 30 to 40 seconds. As the clock is slowly starting to run down and Bit being this position for like 40 plus seconds, you'll notice how he's just staying here now. He's not moving because he knows 
any second it take a come around that corner and push towards ramp. As G2 are throwing like three, four bits of utility onto that A site, even though most people's initial reaction would be to run straight away over to heaven because of the time left, Bit is not moving. He's staying where he is. He's not budging at all. And he's waiting for his team to cool the information because in this situation, you're going to see that G2, instead of going onto A, they all just drop down to vent and one player comes round ramp. So going on to the final round of the Navi versus G2 Grand Final, um, you'll notice how that Bit in this situation is going to throw that Molotov and then straight away throw a hand grenade into the Molotov because in this situation a lot of teams might feel under pressure or do something a bit like not very tactical for example and they might just try overwhelm the ramp player. That is why he's throwing that HE into the Molotov. Dropping down a smoke after that uh, initial Molotov is finished, getting very close to it, making sure that no one can jump through that and push him as he's very aware of this possibility. After this, going back, following up, getting in that incredibly strong headshot position with the little gap on the left that I've explained before. This is where the game comes to a close. So I'm going to create a little summary here um, of the things you need to take from this video, okay? So again, the different angles that Bit has been taking, the headshot one that I've just explained here, the one on ramp, back box, the off angle, all those different positions are very, very strong. Knowing when to move and when to rotate and where to go at the correct time, either under heaven or even towards B site. Throwing that correct utility and the early utility at the start of the round, either the Molotov or the smoke, followed up by a HE behind the Molotov sometimes to try catch anyone that is standing close to it. Thank you very much guys for watching this CT Expert with Bit on Nuke. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new here, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this. I will speak to you guys very soon.